Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the electric environment that was just released a couple of days ago. Now, whenever I live stream a video of that level, we were playing around with it, and I started clicking on things, and I was like, what's going on with this? This is not just a PCG graph. Uh, it's, it's kind of like some kind of blueprint. And sure enough, you know, after playing around in here, there are actually two types of PCG stuff in this project, which is amazing. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go download the Electric Dreams uh, project. It's free right now in the Epic Marketplace, but this thing is amazing. Like the more I dig into this, the more stuff I am getting and seeing. So if we go to the content browser and I go to the PCG, and my daughter made a tutorial, like a quick tutorial about this the other day, yesterday, I think. If you go to graphs, forest, you're going to see a couple of things here. What I want you to focus on real quick is the PCG graph and the PCG forest blueprint. All right. Now, this is what I expected out of the level, but I'm going to control Z that. But if you look to the right and click and drag and drop that to the scene, this, as far as I know, is what they used in the actual environment. If I go to the PCG demo forest, it is actually referencing the PCG graph that I was expecting. So what the f does this mean? What Epic did was actually created a blueprint for us that we can now tweak. So if I click on this forest BP demo, and again, my daughter made a tutorial about this. If I click on this demo forest right now, under PCG, we're now going to have all of these built-in settings without having to go into the actual graph. So let's do this in practice. If I open this graph, you're going to see that it is it is crazy. But what basically what you're looking for there is where is the data coming from? You know what I mean? Like for PCG graph to work, it's it needs to attach itself to something. And it looks like this one is attached to a landscape. So that means we need to create a landscape for this to work. That's why nothing is showing up. Again, if you didn't see my video on this, I made a tutorial on PCG just to get you started. So if you're lost, just kind of watch this and watch my other tutorial or just go to the documentations. They actually have a lot of good documentations. So I'm going to delete this floor because that's not really a landscape. And I'll just create a one by one. Be very careful here because this is we're talking a lot of stuff in here. OK, so it's already preparing shaders. I'm going to say create and that's going to open our landscape up. Now, I'm going to exit out of that and go to selection. And if you if you watch my daughter's tutorial yesterday, you know where this is going to go. I'm going to go to the PCG demo forest. And for the actual, and you see right here, the input type is landscape. I'm going to go to the properties right now. Instead of generating on demand, we're going to generate it on load. So boom, and that's when she kind of ended the tutorial. But with one click, we create a freaking forest and now again since this is not just a pcg graph this is a blueprint that epic created for us so now we can change settings in here like change the global trees density i can change the scale if you want less rocks you can go 0.5 that's going to generate less rocks this is again pretty darn insane I, and i know this is going to spoil us and i feel bad for epic because now people are going to expect this out of all the mega scans assets that they release because this is freaking amazing all right so we're not just talking about forest here we also have cliffs background so if i go to the trees right here we have a graph so you got a couple of actually blueprints that you can use in here so this background right here are the cliffs in the back. So if I scroll out, you'll see that that actually generated some backdrop for us. Well, this is why I love downloading free stuff that Epic releases is you can learn so much from this. I mean, that's really the tutorial. You drag and drop, make the landscape bigger. Okay, you know, create a landscape, make it bigger, whatever you want. You can use the sculpt tools and sculpt it around and it's going to react to that landscape instead of people having to deal and learn pcgs right let's take the landscape it's gonna sample you got some actually 
what the crap they're actually and additionally it's generating fog cards i thought that was hand placed in there but apparently it's not you have some large cliffs assemblies then the rocks you don't have to worry about all this it would be good for you to learn where to change the actual static mesh if you want to change the static meshes you know what i mean right here the static mesh spawner if you want to change it around sure you can change it around but if you're just starting with Unreal and you don't really have a lot of time, bro, this is a time saver, all right? So let's delete the landscape. That's okay. It's going to tell me, hey, man, you, you have some references in there. Let's do a 4x4. Four four. And again, just be, just be very careful what you're doing because this is, this is some nanite assets here. Look at that. That's, that's thick, man. That's like Robin Thick right there. All right, so let's delete everything. So let's start with a new landscape, a little bit bigger landscape, because obviously I think my computer can take it. So again, we'll just drag it and drop it in there and click on the demo forest and then change this to load. And now you have this amazing random forest. Uh, man. And again, I, and if we want to change it around, since this is a blueprint, once again, I can click on this forest BP you know, I can change the density of the cliffs to, like, maybe just four of them. That would subtract it. Now, this is only a 2x2 two two, It's or a 4x4. Four four. It's pretty small. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I want you all to start going in here and start dragging and dropping some of this stuff and make your own forest. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. They are having a live stream in about an hour and a half. I'm going to go check that out to see what that's about. Maybe I'll learn something new there and then share it with you all. The amount of stuff that's in here, similar to the Matrix demo sample, is amazing, man. And for them to release this for free, and for them to make it so easy to use, just really shows what Epic is trying to do. That being said, uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.